everybody likes to steal licks from Stevie. Uh, I may have um, cracked some of the SRV code, and I'd like to share it with you guys. But please, first, watch this, and I'll be right back. Hi, this is Tim. Thanks for stopping by. If you're a practicing guitar player like myself, I would like to invite you to visit my website, www.timsguitarworld.com. There you'll find tons of resources designed for you to get the most from your practice time. Professionally recorded backing tracks, lesson videos, product reviews, uh, so much more. And uh, new stuff being added all the time. Just follow the link below this video and pay me a visit at Tim's Guitar World and let's jam together. Again, thanks for stopping by. Now let's go on to the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to uh, pick apart Stevie Ray's uh, rhythm style here, um, especially as it would apply to uh, the shuffles that he played, like um, Pride and Joy. Um, we're going to do this in, uh, in G, because I think G will give you a uh, higher skill level um, using this method. And I, I'll show it to you in G, and you can always play it in uh, in uh, in E if you want to. This method that I want to teach you is uh, basically is it's it's really not that hard, but it is it's hard to do um, well, okay, and it, it's hard to do cleanly. So the beginning step would be to get this down right here. Okay. Now, what that is, if you listen to it in 4 4 time, you have uh, accent on the 1 and the 3. 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. Just to explain this further, what are those accents? Those accents are the, essentially the snare hits from the drummer. Now, you remember it was a power trio. So, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan might have incorporated this style of playing based on the fact that we they only had three musicians on stage and he had a lot to do to fill in. And he did a great job at it. But anyway, uh, that being said, this should be practiced with a metronome. And spend some time, give it a give it a few hours, okay, to to get comfortable with that feel and that that don't even worry about the musicalis the musicality side of it yet because that's the essential component to Stevie Ray Vaughan's shuffle styling, okay, and uh, get that down first, and you might want to. Go ahead and uh, save this video, uh, you know, a watch later or whatever you want to do and get that down to where it's second nature, like it's like you are a rhythm ninja. Let's assume now that uh, you uh, have got this down and you're using your metronome. Then we're going to go ahead and add some notes, All right? So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, start with just the G. This, is, this song is in G. Um, it's a, you know, one, four, five, one, five. It's just a standard blues progression. Uh, so it's a G, C, and, uh, yeah. That's something. D. G, C, and D. So, um, what you'll want to do is start with one note at a time. You know, so this would, that rhythm style would be. And use the metronome. But uh, 
let's add some more notes. You ready? One, two, three, four. I know it sounds simple, but here are some of the some of the pitfalls that you're going to have in this process. Okay, you're going to have the uh, ever annoying notes ringing out that you don't want to hear. All right, uh, I I overemphasized it a little bit. Hopefully, you won't have too much of a problem with it. But what's going to happen is you're muting. Finger, which is going to be your, uh, you're going to use your index finger a lot. Stevie Ray Vaughan used his thumb for a lot of muting. I don't use my thumb. I use my index finger and the palm of my hand, okay? And that's what you'll incorporate more than likely unless you use your thumb. But, but you can uh, rest assured that you're going to have some uh, ring, uh, some unwanted notes ringing out in this process. And what's going to happen is your ear and your hands and your brain are going to, eventually figure out how to work together and that muscle memory is going to mute those notes for you and it's going to get way easier as you practice but it's not gonna you know be something that's just gonna just come to you you gotta practice it and it's definitely um, I'm gonna say give it a week uh, you know of an hour a day or, or an hour and a half a day Maybe a little longer. Depends on the individual, right? Depends on you. So let's just uh, go ahead and try it again. Um, and uh, we'll run through it uh, at, uh, it's at about 120 BPM. So. All right, and that's basically the lesson. So, you know, you could take that, you can take that um, into any key now. You can play it in, of course, G, right? You can go up to A, right? You can go to B. And there's going to be variations too that you can use um, with with this. You can you can start adding uh, more comping feel to it after you uh, uh, after you really feel comfortable with this. You can start kind of uh, if you know what I mean. You can comp uh, behind the rhythm like.
again, mistakes are free. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll put m a lot more stuff out here in the next uh, in the next forever, I guess. So uh, enjoy, and don't forget to practice with the metronome and the backing track. Please uh, go to the website, check it out, and I appreciate you stopping by today and taking this lesson.